All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television program in the history of the entire universe. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, we are doing a video celebrating four years on YouTube, 21,000 subscribers, and I'm going to be talking about the four reasons that I should really just stop making these videos and just put the entire YouTube channel right in the garbage, light it on fire, and end it. Because there's some reasons why I shouldn't be doing this at all. And let's just talk about the first one, which uh, let's get right into it. I mean, I kind of mentioned it already. Four years, 21,000 subscribers. Most people that start a YouTube channel in four years, they've got like 12 billion subscribers. I mean, there's some booktubers out there that are sprinting past me. They start a channel, and two weeks later, they've sprinted past me, and they're already at like 300,000 subscribers. So my channel is a slow build. My channel is small. My channel has a niche corner of the universe, and there's a, a reason for that that I think I can um, kind of uh, talk to you about, and, that is, and, and that's going to lead us into the uh, second reason that I should quit YouTube. And that is because this is the most low-budget, um, trailer park trash, um, horse shit channel that's ever existed on YouTube. I mean, it is poorly done. It's almost like, Durfee, how can you view... It's almost like you're trying to suck at this. It's like, uh, it's like you, you couldn't make it worse if you tried! And, and I mean, I'm like, and yes, yeah, okay, I do lean into the absurdity of how poorly put together my channel is. And, um, you know, just from the over-the-top introduction that I do, number one channel in the universe, mentioning my books in every single intro. It's obnoxious. Not only that, but the technological skill with which this channel is brought to you is so low rent. It's And I'm going to take you behind the scenes right now of why this channel sucks so hard that um, you're going to be amazed. I mean, you're, you're going to be like, oh my God, this, this the channel is held together by duct tape. Literally, you're going to find that out. So this is how, I mean, the equipment is garbage. My lighting is trash. My sound is horrific. My, uh, my camera is a horror show, if, as you're going to see. I mean, everything about this channel is so, I mean, the editing is, uh, well, the editing is okay. But beyond that, everything is just a mess, just an astonishing astronomical fucking garbage pile. And so let's go behind the scenes, a rare look behind the scenes so you can see why everything that you receive from this channel is second rate, third rate, fourth rate. On a scale of one to 10, it's a negative five. From A to Z, it's, well, I don't even know what that means. Okay. Uh, so let's, okay, so every single video I've ever made has been filmed, and I will show you this, on the same 2006 Samsung phone that I've had, and here it is. It's, I'm just going to show you. This is, the, this is the camera equipment that I use. That's the phone I use and the camera stand that I use. I mean, look at the camera stand. The... I mean, I told you it was held together with duct tape. My notes are held together with duct tape. There's duct tape. I mean, here's the roll of duct tape I use. And then, and then look at the camera stand itself. It's just an old lamp shade that's been dismantled. The light bulb's been taken out. And the camera is just held up by a uh, magic marker. And then you can see that it's leaning. Well, why is it leaning? Well, it's leaning because the whole apparatus is, uh, is uh, set up, is on top of a Bernard Cornwell novel. Oh, and that's just the start of the, of the suckage. I mean, let's go back, to, let's look at my, uh, let's look at this setup here. I mean, we got some goofy ass Funko Pops. We've got Motley Crue over here, you know, bewildered looking at like, why are we in this fucking videos? And then um, we've got, um, then we've got this, uh, this nonsensical piece of garbage pegboard backdrop that is, all, you know, it's all, the cats knocked it over so much. There's, every corner is bent. 
there's scratches on it. There's scratches everywhere. There's, there's even a, a massive typo there at the bottom that I had to scratch out amongst other things. And then what is it? And then, and then we look at what is it even, what is it even resting on? Well, it's resting on this contraption of books. And I just, all I do is rest it on these pieces of, of uh, wood, which I are just um, things that I got out of the paint bucket. These are the little bug. These are the stirring paint, and we got. We just, and here's the thing: is we just set that up there, and voila, we have 100% suckage. And you're like, oh my god, Durfee. Throughout this video, you showed us like. That's the camera you film on, but yet you're filming the very camera you're filming on. How does, how does that? That that's the phone you're. Well, this is because. I am pretty good at CGI. This is all CGI. That's how that worked. All right. Now that leads us into why is everything such garbage? Well, that leads us into the third reason I should, uh, I held up five. That leads us into the third reason why I should quit this channel. And that is because, um, yes, everything is low budget for a reason. Like I said, I'm leaning, I lean into the absurdity of it for a reason. Because a man's got to know his limitations. And my limitations are I'm not technologically skilled. I don't have time, nor do I have the time to edit a lot of fancy videos, buy a lot of fancy equipment, learn how to use the fancy equipment. I, don't, I, I would wrestle with it for years before I could figure out how to use it. So I just ought not buy it and try to set it up. So that's one of the reasons. Um, I uh, one of the reasons, uh, the third reason that I should uh, quit this channel is because um, uh, of my limitations. Part of which keep me sane. Part of which my laziness keeps me sane because I've got a full time job at the prison. If you follow this channel, you know I work in law enforcement at the prison. That's a full time job. I also have a second full time job writing books. So, and then I've got a third full-time job, reading books. I prioritize my reading four to five hours a day. Despite my multiple different jobs, I prioritize this. And that's uh, one of the things is, is I don't have a lot of time to edit videos and make them as professional looking as some of the others out there. So I'm working within some limitations. If I want this hobby of mine, and this hobby of mine was to initially, when I first started the YouTube channel, I want to leave a positive book review for all six to 7,000 books in my library. And we've already panned through the library a bit, but this is my upstairs library. I've got a downstairs library too, but between the two, I've got six to 7,000 books, and I want to leave a positive review of each one of those books on the channel. That was the goal four years ago. Just shoot one video per day for a year, see where the channel led, and, and keep everything positive, um, because I want to leave a legacy of book reviews for all the great authors behind me that have written such great books that have influenced my life, influenced my own writing. That was the goal. And that goal keeps my hobby alive, especially because I just, I shoot the videos without editing. It's, it's you know, it's a time constraint thing. One of the reasons why the channel looks like garbage is it's a time constraint thing. And I want to keep things positive, which keeps the viewership lower. The subscribers lower negative videos get a big huge bump in um you know how everybody clicks on neg i click on negative stuff we all click on negative stuff positive stuff gets few viewers another reason that i should quit the channel is because i just keep everything positive and nobody really watches positive stuff i do 90 percent book reviews and on booktube book reviews don't get a lot of viewers um, it's usually the book rankings, the book talks, the, you know, this and that and the other, the negative thing. Those are what gets a lot of viewers, a lot of subscribers. I should quit this channel because I'm not really doing that. And I'm not going to criticize the people that do focus their channel on those things because they're doing what they love and that's cool. I'm doing it the way I want and that's cool. Which leads me to the number four reason that I should quit this um, channel and, um, and just burn it to the ground is because, um, well, a lot of people criticize me because everything's positive and because I do read a lot. 
And I just talked about to you about prioritizing your life so things are easy, so you can have fun with life. One of the things I do is I prioritize reading a lot. And I read 20 books or so a month, which is a lot. And people criticize me like, that's impossible. How do you do that? Well, let me explain to you. Actually, I did a whole video of how this is possible. But I will kind of give the Cliff Notes version of that video to you right now. The um, reading a lot is a priority of mine. Ever since I was 12 years old, I've read four to five hours a day. And people can be like, how the f do you read four to five hours a day? That's impossible, especially because you have two full-time jobs. Well, I'm telling you, it's how you prioritize your time. Because there are people out there that have full-time jobs, families, and still end up going to the gym three to four hours a day. There are people that have two full-time jobs, a family, and still end up playing video games six to ten hours a day. You know, it's, and so it's just how you prioritize your time. I prioritize my time in such a way that I can read a lot, shoot these videos with minimal editing, which means zero editing. I shoot them in one take. I don't edit anything. I just I do it in one take, just like I did this video. And that keeps my workload for YouTube to a minimum, which keeps me sane, which means I can keep doing YouTube. Does that make sense? So the fourth reason I should quit YouTube is because well, there is no fourth reason. There's no third reason. There's no second reason. And there's no first reason. I'm not going to quit YouTube. I should. I mean, I should. I mean, anybody that's watched any of my videos knows that I should. But I won't because it's something that brings me happiness, brings me joy. Making these video reviews of books, I enjoy it. So I won't quit. And the fact that there's 21,000 people that have liked my videos enough to subscribe is 21,000 people more than I was expecting. So in that res regard, I should say the channel is a success. And so I will keep going the way I'm going.